Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and in this video tutorial overview, I'm going to show you how you can get started using the LSP Soft White presets. These presets are compatible with Lightroom Classic Creative Cloud, Lightroom in Creative Cloud, Lightroom Mobile, older versions of Lightroom and ACR. The included brushes are compatible with Lightroom Classic, Lightroom older versions and ACR. Currently it's not possible to import custom brush presets into Lightroom Mobile and Lightroom Standalone CC. This is not an installation video. For installation guides you can visit the website at www.lsp-actions.com to find out how to get your presets into all the different versions of Lightroom and ACR. In this video tutorial I'm going to be mainly using Lightroom Classic in CC but I'm also going to show you where to find your presets in Lightroom Standalone and in ACR. So let's get started. In Lightroom Classic select your image and come up the top to develop and this will open up your develop panel. Over here on the right you have all of your sliders and over here on the left you have the presets. If you've installed your presets correctly they will now be showing up here. You can also access the brushes by clicking on this little adjustment brush icon or hitting K on your keyboard. I'm going to show you how you can access the presets in Lightroom Standard CC and also in ACR before I come back here and show you how the presets work. So let me go ahead and open up Lightroom. Okay, so in Lightroom CC you click on the little slider icon at the top here and this will bring up your editing panel. You see there's a little box here that says presets. Depending on which version you're using, you might also have the preset, which is two kind of circular icons um, on the list here. It really does depend on which version you're using. Click presets and you will see your installed LSP um, soft white presets. And again, you can hover over these to see what the effect will be on your image. Each section works independently, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a minute. Then you can also select other images in the gallery um, and sync the settings across to apply the same settings to all of the images, which is super cool. In ACR and Photoshop, you can access the presets by clicking on uh, this little icon here. Again, two little circles. Find the LSP Soft White presets that you have installed and you can hover over these to see the effect on your image and which one you would like to choose. For example, I've just clicked Soft Touch Base. And once you're happy with the edit, you can hit OK. Or you can come back up here onto the sliders and make further adjustments if needed. You can also click on the brush if you've installed the LSP Soft White brushes. Click the three little dots here and you can choose one of the soft white brushes to apply to your image. For example, I've just clicked Lift and Lighten, so now I can brush this over. And when you're happy with the edit, hit OK. So back into Lightroom Classic and let me explain a little bit more exactly how these presets work. So the first notice you have up here is set your white balance manually. This is really important. A preset just cannot set your white balance for you, especially when it comes to whites. The white balance is an exact science. Hopefully you will have grey carded um, your session. If not, you can use the colour picker here to hover over and um, try and find an area in your image that's going to give you a good white balance. And you can see up here in the preview window what that will look like. For example, if I click on red, um, that's not a good white balance. So try and find an area of your image that is going to give you a semi-realistic white balance. And you can always change the sliders a little bit to tweak um, to make it suit your image. The first section is the base section here. Um, you have 10 bases and you can hover over these to see which one of those is going to suit your image best. You may find um, one or two are amazing. You may find three or four are absolutely brilliant. You may find one is very, very close, but not quite there yet. And you can tweak the sliders um, to make that base adapt for your image. What I love to do is just hover over all of them like this until I decide which one is going to suit the image best. For this image, it's soft touch base. The bases work on the basic panel here, so you can always come in and slightly change any of these sliders to suit your image. Um, a little bit more before moving on to the next section or you might find one click it's perfect. The next section is lights. If you hover over here you'll see it starts with lights down coming all the way up to lights up so you can just hover over this and the image is going in and out a little bit because it's trying to figure out the lens correction there so don't worry about that too much. I'm going to use lights up 50 for this one. 
you need to change the lens correction, you can simply click the lens correction drop down and you can turn this on or off. You can also choose your camera model and make from the drop down there. Each section as well, you see here where it says the title, balance, lights, toning. If you want to erase the settings that you've just put on and you're not sure if they work for your image, you can click reset and that will go straight back down to um, your shooting um, settings, but not for the other sections. Each section works independently, which is really, really cool. So for example, if I just wanted to reset the balance, I could click on that one or just reset the tones, I could click on that one. So again, hover over, I think I'm going to use lift shadows perhaps rescue some blown highlights there. I'm going for a nice kind of muted look for this one. But again, you can always come up to the sliders and play a little bit more if you wanted to, just to get this working um, superbly for your image. The toning section here, you have um, a couple of fix options. If you have some stubborn pink or green in your shadows or highlights, for example, you can use that to fix them. You can warm up, cool down, desaturate a little, neutralize those tones, boost the colors, um, and more and if you click again on reset this will just give you your as shot um, settings out of your camera just for the colors a couple of squint squint tweaks <laughs> i am tripping over my words today skin tweaks here um, you can calm down yellow or red skin um, if you've got a lot of that in your image really good for newborns there now the contrast section you have contrast, extra contrast, take the contrast down and a matte contrast which i think i'm going to use for this because i'm going for kind of a whimsical look and the finishing um, area here, we have a vignette, ultra bright whites, white in the edges, a black and white, and a matte. So you can hover over those and decide if you'd like to apply one of those to your image. So let's just see the before, where we started, and after, after going through the presets there. And the next stage is the brushes. So click up here on the brush icon, or hit K. Here where it says effect, um, you can see zero bleach whites is on now it depends which brush you use last as to what it's going to stay here but you click that one and you can see you have the um, 11 brushes here bleach whites milky soft skin vanilla skin toner lift and lighten sugar coat pop contrast cotton tack sharp recover lost detail purple correct and yellow correct and an unhazer for areas that you really just need to kind of take the haze away from and bring in some of the shadow and highlight detail I think I need bleach whites. The settings need to be kind of a semi feather for these brushes and the most important part is keeping your flow down somewhere towards the middle. You don't want a high flow brush because that's just kind of like bulldozering in. Um, you want it to be a nice and gentle something that you can build up. So I'm just using that to build up this, um, brighten up this area here in the shadow. Click new for a new brush and then choose another one. I'm going to use recover loss detail for this area here because I'm just trying to balance that lighting out a little bit better. Click new for a new brush and I think I'm going to use vanilla skin toner just on this little face here because she's a little bit red compared to everybody else. So just to kind of balance the skin tones out a little bit more with her. And you can carry on and carry on. You can make your own adjustment brushes if you have other presets. So for example, the LSP Studio presets, they come with brushes for eyes and lips and skin and things like that. So you can also apply those brushes and presets. You can mix and match. It's entirely up to you. When you're happy with your edit, select all the other photos in the gallery um, that you'd like to apply the same settings to. And then you can use the sync option, the synchronize option. Um, and this also works in ACR and Lightroom, other versions too. You can click this and you can decide, check the boxes, um, everything you'd like to sync across. I wouldn't recommend syncing the brushes across because you're going to have to move those pins if people's faces are moving. And hit synchronize and what that'll do, it'll apply the exact same settings across all of the photos you choose it to. And bish bash bosh, your edit is done. So let's just see a before and after here. So that's where we started before and that's where we are after. And of course you can go in a little bit more. For example, I'm just going to take a little bit of the green out of the white balance there. And once you're happy again, just sync those settings across the whole gallery. So let's do another quick edit here. Oops. 
again, go up and down the bases until you find one that really suits your image. I think rescue base for this one where it was very underexposed. Playing with the lights there. How about we go for a kind of a, either go for a neutral or a high key one for this one. I'm not too sure. Let's go high key. But maybe take that down just a little bit there on the exposure panel. Okay, balance section here. Rescue some of those highlights. Perhaps lift the shadows a little. Literally just hovering over and deciding um, what is going to suit this image the best. And you can just keep going up. You can go into each section and mess around and play until you're happy. Literally just hover and click. So I may come up, I might bring those lights up even more. Let's go for a very bright image with this one. Okay, and onto the brushes. How about bleach whites? Going for a very, very high key. But it all really does depend on personal taste. You can um, you can hold down Alt to paint the brush off any areas you do not wish it to show. But you can get so many different looks with these presets. You could play around, you could create a few virtual copies of your image and create a few different edits um, and decide and see which one you like the best. But it really is limitless what you can do with presets. So let's just come off the brush and see there before and after, super quick. Any other images in the gallery, you could just batch that across. So that's how to use the LSP soft white presets in Lightroom. And these are available at www.lsp-actions.com. You can also find the installation guides and all the quick start guides for the presets and the brushes in Lightroom and ACR on the website. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.